is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. I hope you're having a great day today. I thought I'd do something a little bit different today and kind of break down something that has been quite prevalent in my wrestling career and that is neck bridging, building a strong neck. So kind of the first question I kind of want to answer is why is neck training important? Well from a wrestler's point of view, due to the nature of wrestling, building the muscles in your neck is important to try and prevent any future injuries. Like the neck is what stabilizes your head and obviously there's muscles in your neck so they should be trained just like any other muscle. So to start the movement patterns with your neck are forward flexion, neck extension, lateral flexion and you can also use rotational movements as well. The main muscle that's going to be used when you're doing your forward flexion and your lateral flexion is going to be your sternocleidomastoid and when you're doing your neck extension you're going to be using like the upper trap fibers. So what I recommend first before you actually get into it is you want to make sure you warm your neck up. On the screen you'll see me just kind of laid on the bench and I'm just moving my head, minimal movement from the rest of my body and I'm just tucking my chin, extending it, flexing it, extending it and I'm also turning it from side to side, okay? If you do that for long enough, you get a few reps out, maybe you go 10, 15 on each movement, you will start to feel your neck get warmed up and you'll start to build up kind of a mind-muscle connection with your neck. With this as well, don't forget that you can implement progressive overload. Now, this doesn't necessarily relate to weight or anything like that. You can progress via improving the technique, gradually moving your hands away. When I'm doing the neck bridging and stuff, I show regressions and progressions where you might start on your knees and you might tuck your chin there and then once you get used to that, you can just kind of take your hands away and just stay on your knees and keep moving your head. Now the main thing with that guys is you want to make sure you get a stretch with it, okay? There's no good trying to just do no hands, come on your toes and put as much weight on your head as possible because you're not going to get the full range of motion. You're going to want to try to get as much movement as you can on the neck and really stretch it. Only move up to the next stage when you feel comfortable with it. You'd be surprised what your neck is actually able to do. You're going to start to get into a bridge stretch. Now that's something that pretty much every wrestler has done and it's kind of a common theme within wrestling training. Basically what you're trying to do is, again is you're trying to get full range of motion, okay? So as you can see when I'm doing it, I'm coming down to the back of my head and I'm pushing right the way through, I'm touching my nose to the mat and I'm coming back down again, right? Full range of motion, driving my hips through, driving my feet into the mat, okay? That's important. And we've got the bridge turn, okay? So with the bridge turn, it's a little bit more complex, but if you try it, probably take you a little while to actually get what you're meant to do but you've got to try and keep your head fixed to the mat and your feet is kind of what walks around you pop it over so you're kind of in a wrestler bridge and you walk it back around the other way and then you're going to reverse the movement and that should technically be one so there's a couple of movements there literally body weight you can do it at home you don't need a gym or anything like that as long as you can kind of got like a soft surface you might want to put a towel down as well on top of that, but there's a couple of other movements like a like a bridge reverse. I did try to do one in the gym earlier, but for some reason I just could not for the life of me get it. But I'll have another whack in training later and see if I actually get one. And so in terms of reps, you might do your warm up, you'll go flexion for 10, 15, extension for about 10, 15, looking side to side, okay, your rotation's there for about 10 to 15, and then you can kind of move into your head on the mat and doing your flexion and extension with a bit of resistance. So you go forwards and backwards for about 10. So forwards, backwards, that's one. You can do that again for about 10 to 15, maybe even 20 as you start to progress with it. And then you'll go laterally, which is side to side, okay? For about, again, 10, 15, maybe 20, depending on where you're at. And then you wanna do kind of rotations, okay? So now the rotations, think about like as if you're wearing like a top hat and just kind of try to get, again, get the biggest stretch you can with it, okay? It's not about how much resistance you can put on your head and your neck. It's not about that at all. It's about the stretch you can get and then progressing the resistance with that stretch. And then once you've done those couple, you can then move into your bridge stretch, which I'd say, you know, aim again for about 20 day, for you, you're down at the back of the head, you drive through, touch your nose to the mat, and then you can go into your bridge turns and your bridge reverses, and then you can do a wrestler bridge hold. 
that's just kind of the main premise of how a pro wrestler will kind of train the neck. This is something we did in the old Japan Dojo every day. We do this quite regularly in Dragon Pro. We even did it quite regularly before I went to Japan and stuff. Kind of wherever I've been within wrestling, it's always been a universal thing to, you know, train your neck and make sure that you're able to take some sort of resistance there. So yeah, that's kind of the main premise of how to train your neck and stuff like that. Um, I'll catch you in training shortly. Right, so I didn't, I didn't get to do this one earlier because you need a partner to do it, right? But it's another way of adding resistance um, when you're doing some flexion and extension and some lateral flexion on the old uh, neck things, right? <laughs> so Tom, he's gonna uh, extend the neck there, okay? He's gonna resist and I'm gonna push down, all right? So he's gonna give me a good bit of resist, give me a bit more there. And then on the way up, he's gonna, I'm gonna resist and he's gonna push up, okay? There. So for this one, um, you can do between 10 and 20. Today everyone's gonna do 10 of them, okay? Once you've done 10 of them, Tom's gonna lie on his side. Okay, see him again. He's gonna extend there, but flex there. And then I'm gonna push down again. Same principle, he's gonna resist. Like that, okay? Again, rep range gonna be about 10 to 20. On all of them, guys, you can just do 10 today, right? Tom's then gonna switch to the other side. Same again. There. Like that. And once you've done uh, all fours, sides, he's then gonna lie on his back, he's gonna tuck his chin, I'm gonna place this on his forehead, be careful of the eyes, bit of a weird one. And I'm gonna push down, he's gonna tuck like this with a bit of resistance. And once you've done that, what you're gonna do is Tom is gonna try and keep his head fixed. I'm gonna place it there, and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some fast presses like that for 20. So it's just another way of adding resistance onto this, uh, on these neck exercises without you having to drill your head into the mat, you're not comfortable with that. So that's another way of doing it. Regression, if you want, it's quite hard to get the hang of. You can hold on to someone's ankles about an arm's length there, and the idea is I'm staying on my head. I'm going to kick my legs over, and if you've got another person that can help you get your legs around as well, just just to kind of help um, progress that, then do that. But um, ideally, you want to be able to do it on your own. You can do like five to ten, and then maybe two sets of five or something. One set of ten. Um, once you start getting the hang of that, you can then try and do it on your own. I couldn't do it in the gym earlier for some reason, but we're gonna have a crack now. <laughs> Thank you. 
enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed this YouTube video. Everyone jump in. Jump in for the ankle. <laughs> so that's the warm up done, pretty much for the session. We've got about an hour and a half left to go. We're gonna have a good session. We're gonna turn the camera off and we're gonna get serious now. You know what I mean? <laughs> Everyone, <laughs> say throughout the vlog. Throughout the vlog. Throughout the vlog. Throughout the don't forget to like the video, don't forget to subscribe. I hope everyone in this video subscribes, otherwise yeah, we'll be unhappy. Three times. Three times, always keen. <laughs> yeah. so don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like the video, and we'll see you in the next one.